In this video, I'm going to do some examples on probability from tables. Okay, so let's read the question. A random group, a random group of people were asked what the takeaway outlet of preference was. The responses were summarized in the table below. So let's read the table. So you got male and female, and you got the takeaways, McDonald's, KFC, pizza, and so on. So how do you read the table? There were 80 males who preferred McDonald's. Okay, or the 60, how do you read the 60? There were 60 females who preferred KFC. Or this, suppose, let us say 160. 160 is the total of the people, male and female, who uh, preferred Subway. So 80 plus 75 is 155 and so on. And so this is 645. The total there were 645 people, out of which there were 315 males and 330 females. So that's how you read the table. So now let's, re let's read the question. Estimate the probability that a person prefers McDonald's. So the probability that a person prefers McDonald is so first you have to look under McDonald's okay so there were how many people who preferred McDonald 155 out of how much 645 so the probability that that a person a random person would prefer McDonald is 155 out of 615 just like that, 615. Okay, so let us use a calculator and write this as a decimal. So run, so it's 155 divided by 645. Am I right? Yes, yeah. 155 divided by 645 equal 0 0.24. So in decimals, this is 0 0.24 in 2 dp. That's the answer. That's it. Okay, estimate, the next question is estimate the probability that a randomly selected girl prefers burger. So here, yeah, th there are two information. It's a girl. So this is a person. Okay, so here, yeah, you're taking the total of McDonald over the total number of people. Yeah, you need to read the questions quite clearly because it's girl preferring burger. Okay, so let's look at burger. Let us look at go to the column of burger. So there are how many females? Okay, so for burger, you have 45 males and 55 females. So it's a girl or a female preferring burger. So this is the girl or a female preferring burger. So what's the probability of this, of a girl preferring uh, burger is 55 out of 330 because you've got total females is 330. So the answer would be 55 out of 330. I'll repeat because it's the girl or it should be female here. Yeah? They should have not written girl here. Yeah? So let's change this to female. Okay, a girl is a female, of course. So this is a female. So there are 55 female who like burger. And the question is estimate the probability that a randomly selected female prefers burger. So 55 out of 330. Okay, if five, 1,500 people have takeaways on a selected night, how many would you expect to choose KFC? Now, what we're doing is we're using this table or this information of 645 people to make a prediction about 1,500 people. So we'll come to that later. So let's read the question. How many would you choose prefer KFC? Okay, how many prefer KFC? So let's go to the KFC. So there are 115 out of 645 who prefer K. 
KFC. So, if you want, so this 115 out of 645, this is out of 1 because the total probability of any event, if you add all these probabilities, it will be 1. I hope you understand this is out of 1. This is out of 1. So if out of 1, whatever this number is, so the question is, if this is out of 1, out of 1500 would be this out of 1 times 1500. So it will be 1500 times 115 over 645. So get your calculators out. Let me move this to this side. Cancel 115 divided by 645 times 1500. Or you can go any other way around. doesn't matter. So uh, the answer is 267.4. So you can say 267 or 260. Eight it doesn't matter. You can round this. You cannot have. You have 267.4. So if you want to make a sensible number, this you can say 267 or 268. Both are right. So I would say it is 267 or 268 people. I hope you understand. This is out of one, and we want to answer out of 1500. Okay. One more question. <coughs> Given a person is a male, okay, this is very crucial. Given a person is a male, okay, that's given. Estimate the probability that they prefer McDonald's or burger. So let us look at male. So there are 80 male who prefer McDonald's and 45 who prefer Burger King and there are total 115 males so it will be or means you have to add them so this is this out of 315 so let me write that so this would be 80 out of 315 this is for what is 80 80 was for McDonald's and plus or means plus 45 out of 315. So the denominators are same, that is 80 plus 45 out of 315. So which is 125 out of 315. So get the calculator out, which is 125 divided by 315. That is 3. Point, uh, how did I get? Oh, sorry. You can't have a three-point number. <laughs> Probability has to be less than one. So divided by 315 is 0. Point, uh, 0. 0.39, uh, which is all, uh, if you round up or if you round it to the 2DP, it's 0. 0.40. So I'll change the color now. This is 0. 0.40 in 2DP or two decimal places. Okay. Okay, finally, the last question. Estimate the probability that two randomly selected people from the group would choose KFC as their outlet. Now, this is a tricky question. Yeah, telling us that <clears throat> you're going to randomly select two people, one after the other. Okay, so this is one thing that you should, it's not given, it's one after. So you think one person at a time. So what's the probability of a person selecting KFC, okay, is 115 out of 645. For the first person, so you can say for the first person, the probability would be 115 out of 615. And for the second person, the probability would change slightly, okay. So once this person has been selected, you've got how many how many people left now? You have got uh, one, one, one. Uh, oh, this was KFC. Sorry, I should have written this. Sorry, this is one, one, five KFC. 
not 155. Yeah, 115. <laughs> I don't know. I, my brain was, yeah, 115. So this is 115. This is KFC. So for the first person to uh, prefer KFC is 115 out of 645. 645. My brain is not working. 645. And for the second person, the situation will change. You have got only 114 people out of 644 people because one person has gone. So this will become, if one person has gone, this will become 114. And so this will also become less, which is 644. So for the second person, the probability will be 114 out of 644. Okay, so for two persons, you have to multiply the probability. So the answer would be, so let me write probability of two randomly selected people to prefer or to choose KFC would be the probability of the first person times the probability of the second person. So it's 115 out of 645 times. Now here, why we have to times it is because these two are not dependent on each other. So these are called mutually exclusive. Even this, this is not, this is, uh, though the number of people have Though the number of people have gone down, who the person is selected is not affected by the previous event, okay, or their mutually exclusive event, okay. So this is 114 out of 644. This is this will become 644 out of 644. So this is nothing but 115 times 114 divided by 645 times 644. So let us use the calculator. Calculator, so I'll put this in bracket, 115 times 114 divided by 645 times 644, which is 0 0.032, rounding it to three decimal places, or uh, if you want, okay, 0 0.032, let me change color, this is 0 0.032 in 3 dp. Now if you want to change this as a percent, this is nothing but 3.2 percent. So the probability of two peop two person selected one after the other to prefer KFC is 3.2 percent.